Here's a recap. In 1958, a Swedish company called Malico decided to expand to North America. Malico was very well known for their licorice, but the only products that they decided to send over were Swedish fish, Swedish berries, and a product called Swedish shells, which is exactly like Swedish fish except with fun seashells. Since then, they've been bought by uh, a bunch of companies, but they're owned by Maynard's now, which is owned by Cadbury. Swedish fish come in a variety of colors. Red, green, orange, black, yellow, but not purple. They discontinued the purple color in the year 2006 because not enough people liked the grape flavor. Now it has been revealed that the green fish, which we would expect to be lime, is actually pineapple flavored, while the yellow fish is a lemon lime flavor. The red fish is lingonberry, otherwise known as partridge berry, otherwise known as those little red berries that you find in the woods that you think are poisonous, while the black fish is salt herring flavored. More recently, they released something called Aqualife, which is the same old thing, but with different shapes. You've got yellow starfish, green whales, purple pufferfish, orange seahorses, and blue dolphins. And those all have normal flavors. The ingredients for Swedish fish are as follows. Sugar, invert sugar, corn syrup, modified cornstarch, citric acid, white mineral oil, artificial flavors, artificial colors, carinuba wax. And the interesting thing about the ingredients list is that Swedish fish are one of the only gummies in North America that does not contain gelatin. The original name for Swedish fish was pastel fiska, which is Swedish for pastel colored fish. Over in Sweden, the fish are actually a little bit sweeter and a bit more translucent, but other than that, pretty much the same. Here are some alternative names for lingonberries. Foxberry, quailberries, mountain cranberry, red wortleberry, mountain bilberry, redberry. Now, there are actually like 25 correct names, so we won't go through all of them, but uh, yeah. And now for the giraffes. Now, what we need to keep in mind about giraffes is that they are very promiscuous. They do not pair up for lifelong relationships or anything like that. They just do it when they feel the need. 90% of giraffe sex is male on male, 1% of giraffe sex is female on female, which leaves about 9% for male on female. Before having sex, they go through a process called flame, where the male comes up behind the female, gives her a little tap on the rear, she urinates, and then he drinks it to see if she's ovulating, and then he goes all out. Giraffes give birth standing up, which means that the first thing that a baby giraffe does when it comes to life is fall six feet to the ground, but it's perfectly fine because the baby giraffe walks within an hour of being born. Giraffes are the only animal alive to be born with horns, although their horns are not actually horns, but they are chunks of car that are stuck to the top of their head called ossicones. When the giraffe is four to five months old, they are kept in the small groups called crutches, and the parents are usually off up to a kilometer away finding food for them. They're pretty tall, so they can still see. Baby giraffes are known to grow at least an inch per day, and are usually about six feet tall when they're born, by the way. In case you didn't know, they are the tallest animal alive. Male giraffes are 16 to 18, and females are 14 to 16 feet tall. A full-grown male giraffe usually weighs about 4,200 pounds, while a full-grown female usually weighs about 2,600 pounds. Their tail is about eight feet long, which is really long. A male is called a bull, a female is called a cow, a baby is called a calf, and a group is called a herd. You can usually tell the age of a giraffe by the darkness of their spots. The darker they are, the older they are, generally. But different species have different colored spots. They are the 19th fastest land animal with a top speed of 60 kilometers an hour. They are the only animal to run using the power of the front legs, which are about 10% longer than their rear legs. They do this really funny thing, spreading their legs off to the side when they drink water. They just sort of go face first right into the water. It's pretty cool. The two main predators of giraffes are lions and hyenas. But not to worry, because a kick from the rear legs of a giraffe has been known to kill. They have never been seen bathing. The saliva of a giraffe is a very strong disinfectant. The average lifespan of a giraffe is 20 to 25 years in the wild and 25 to 30 years in captivity. They were originally called camelopardalis because when they were originally found, some people thought it looked like a camel, some people thought it looked like a leopard, so they just combined the name. And it's Latin. One thing that giraffes have in common with camels, even though they're not actually related, they can store water in their bodies, up to 12 gallons of water. They were later named giraffa, which means swift. Believe it or not, giraffes actually have the same amount of vertebrae in the neck as humans. I think it's seven. It's no secret that they have a long tongue. It's usually 18 to 21 inches long, and the last six inches that show is dark blue. Giraffes only sleep about 10 to 12 minutes at a time, and no more than 30 minutes in a day. When in a fight, they use their head as a flail. They do not have tear ducts, but have been caught crying. The average heart rate of a giraffe is 170 beats per minute. They have the highest blood pressure of any animal and have extremely flexible veins in their neck. The different types of giraffes are reticulated or Somali giraffe, Cardofan giraffe, Maasai or Kilimanjaro giraffe, Nubian giraffe, Rothschild or Baringo giraffe, South African giraffe, Thornacroft or Rhodesian giraffe, and the Nigerian giraffe, which recently had to change its name to the West African giraffe because poaching... Well, that's... that's just about everything. Bye.